Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about top 5 good lab practices, especially if you are working in cell culture lab. These practices are essential for maintaining a sterile and controlled environment to ensure successful cell culture experiments which are quite needed in our biopharma, biomedical and biotech areas. So let's dive right in. It is very important to follow personal hygiene if you are working in a cell culture lab. Personal hygiene is crucial when working with cells. Always start by washing your hands orally before and after handling the cells. This helps to minimize the risk of contamination. Additionally, wearing gloves, lab coat and appropriate protective gears will provide an extra layer of protection. And remember, avoid touching your face, nose, eyes while working to prevent any potential transfer of contaminants, especially if you are working in a virology lab. The another significant point is aseptic technique. Maintaining an aseptic technique is vital to keep your cell culture environment sterile. Start by ensuring a clean work area and regularly disinfecting surfaces. To further minimize contamination, use laminar flow hood for sterile manipulations and experimentation. These hoods provide a controlled air flow to prevent airborne particles from entering your workspace. Additionally, a proper cell culture handling. When it comes to handling cells, it is crucial to follow established protocol and procedure. I myself has experience working on cancer research, so I have quite frequently used multiple cancer cell lines. It is important to follow proper technique for cell passaging and seeding must be used to maintain cell viability and growth. Remember to monitor your cell regularly and to prevent cross-contamination. Always handle different cell lines separately and clean equipment between the users. Media preparation is a crucial requirement in cell culture lab. Thus, preparing media correctly is essential for maintaining healthy cell culture. Start by ensuring a sterile environment when preparing media. Accurate measurement and proper filtration techniques should be used to avoid introducing contaminants. Storing media appropriately such as refrigerator at the correct temperature helps maintain its quality. Regularly testing and monitoring the media for contamination is also a crucial step. And lastly, waste disposable. Proper waste disposal is vital for both safety and environmental reason. Dispose the biological waste in designated containers to, to prevent any potential hazards. I myself has worked on virology area, so I have handled HIV, influenza and measles virus. During those experimentations, we have followed the biosafety rules and regulations while handling those experimentations. Additionally, Autoclaving or chemically inactivating waste material before disposable ensure they are no longer infectious. Always follow the biosafety regulations and the guideline for waste disposable. By practicing proper waste management, we can minimize the environmental impact of our lab activity. And that wrap up our discussion on the top 5 good lab practices for working in cell culture lab. By following these practices, you will create a clean and controlled environment ensuring the success of your cell culture experiment. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting lab tips and techniques. If anyone of you are having any questions or queries can approach us. Thank you.